Well, book nook, it, not book nook, not book nook, no, I mean book tube. Book nook is the, uh, the used bookstore I volunteer on Saturdays. It's at, uh, the local library has a used bookstore down in the lower level that I volunteer on Saturdays from 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. But I am not addressing the book nook, I am addressing the book tube world. So yeah, this is Johnny. This is a video. It's been a couple of days since I made a video. I usually don't make videos when my wife is off from work. My wife is a night nurse and she's been off. Uh, she was off last night and tonight. But she had a staff meeting and she just left and I thought I would make a video so I can put these uh, books I bought at thrift stores down into the lower level library, get them out of the living room, get them off my desk. So yeah, so that's what I want to show uh, today is, a, uh, it's not April, it's May the 4th, 2017, it is a Thursday here in West Michigan. It is 3.58 in the afternoon. Outside it is cold, gray, and damp. Uh, it's been a cold spring here in West Michigan, but before you know it, it'll be summer. So yeah, so yeah, uh, I've been reading uh, this afternoon one of my newest books, Everybody Behaves Badly, True Story Behind Hemingway's Masterpiece, The Sun Also Rises by Leslie M. M. Bloom. I was reading that this afternoon. I also been reading a novel I got in the mail. Is it last week? I have two other novels by this. He's a French writer. Uh, he's a modern writer. It says here, uh, this is The Dream Maker by Jean Christophe Ruffin. This is from the Europia editions. I collect Europia books. If I see them at book sales or thrift stores, or if I see one that's interesting in a review, I buy it. They tend to be really good books. Uh, this is The Dream Maker. It's a novel. I got been reading that. And this morning I read for devotions, and I've been I read the Today Reading the Bible Supernaturally by John Piper been reading that. So that's what I was reading today. As far as my diary, I ended on, like I always say, I, I stop, usually I stop writing in my diary around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, sometimes I'll write in the evening if my wife is not home or if something just is on my mind. But usually I shut down and I don't write in the late afternoon, early evenings, nighttime. But I ended on page 401 today, and tomorrow will be May the 5th, 2017. So yeah, I'm on page 401. Tomorrow, if I'm still in the land of the living, I have not gone across the River Jordan. I'll be on page 402. So I'm drinking coffee, reading, and uh, yeah, first I went to, this morning I had to go to pick up a prescription. I stopped at thrift stores on the way, and I found a couple books today, and these are the ones I found, I found today or these. I think I have them all here. They don't look like they're all here. Let me see. Well, I know I picked up this morning at a thrift store, A History of the Arab Peoples by Albert Hurani. Hurani? Uh, I like reading books on the Middle East what's going on in the Middle East, all the political turmoil, the history of, you know, Israel and Egypt and Syria 
and Jordan and Afghanistan and any I just like reading about the ancient world not only the Western but Eastern and the rise of Islam and things like that I also picked up um, this book uh, 14 Byzantine rulers by Michael Hill Eslis. I collect, you know, if I see a penguin classic, I just buy them. Uh, they're always to be interesting. I, I collect books on the Byzantine Empire. And so I would just buy it if it was a penguin classic. I would just buy it. And I picked up this morning uh, Henry James' novel, The Washington Square with an introduction by the essayist and writer Elizabeth Hardwick. This is in the, a vintage books Library of America. You can't go wrong buying a Library of America books. Also vintage books, vintage international, they're always really good to buy. Also, I also bought this little book on, this is a Christian response to Darwinism or evolution. This is called Evolution's Fate, Fateful Fruit, How, are, How Darwin's True of Life, Tree of Life Brought Death to Millions by Tom DeRosa. I don't believe in evolution. I believe that God created man in the Garden of Eden. I believe in the, uh, a young earth. I believe that Adam and Eve were historical, that the fall was an historical event. And I believe in the devil. I believe in heaven and hell. I believe in the Trinity, that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross for sins, that we might be forgiven of our sins and receive the gift of eternal life when we embrace Him with faith and repent of our sins and turn away from sin and begin to walk in the power of the Spirit and live a life that glorifies God, that pleases Him, serving Him, and just uh, waiting to go into eternal state and reigning with Christ forever. So I got those this morning. Then yesterday, uh, I had to go to Zealand, which is north of Holland, where we live, to pick up bird seed and also to buy... I have a wild flower garden, and I wanted to buy wild flower seeds, and so... I called my friend up, Tim, because he mentioned that he would want to go with me if I was going to go to thrift stores. It was a sunny day yesterday. It was really nice. So I picked my friend up, Tim. We went to Zealand. We got uh, cracked corn and sunflower seeds, and we got wildflower seeds, and he got some beet seeds for his vegetable garden. And then we stopped at thrift stores, and these are the books that I found at thrift stores. I found this novel by Anna Michaels, The Winter Vault. I never heard of this uh, this, her, this writer, but I was uh, I always catalog my books and library thing, and several of my interesting libraries. I have people that I think I have interesting libraries, and they had this book. It looked really good, reading the the back. Uh, John Berger recommended it. Uh, the Washington Post Book World, uh, The Independent, Los Angeles Time Book Review, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, it just got great reviews. Looked like a very interesting story. So I bought that. I also bought another copy of V by Thomas Pankton. I have this already, but this is my edition. I really like the cover of this edition. So that's why I got this edition, even though I have this already in our library. And then I picked up uh, this biography of Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth, The Struggle for the Throne by David Starkley. I just bought David Starkley used last week, uh, his biography called The Six Wives of Henry VIII. And I found this biography on Lord Nelson, uh, Nelson Love and Fame by e Edgar Vincent. 
this was a New York Times notable book. If I see any New York Times notable book on the cover, I buy it. But I like biographies. I don't have any biographies on Lord Nelson. So yeah, it looked really interesting. And then I found this novel by this uh, Iranian writer. And it was very interesting. Several people in library thing that I have listed as having interesting libraries, three of them had this novel. And I never heard of this Iranian writer. His name is Mahmoud Do... I even cannot pronounce the name. It's Missing Sloth. Sash. So yeah, I got that. And I found this little book at the stores yesterday, The Falcon, a narrative of the captivity and adventures of John Tanner during 30 years residence among the Indians in the interior of North America. Uh, so I got that. I like reading about 19th century, 18th century, uh, about American Indians and captive narratives. And I found uh, Ronald Dahl, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I collect his books. They're like, I suppose, children literature. But I didn't have this one in my collection. Then I found this little novel by a Pakistani uh, writer, uh, Jamal Hadmid, The Wandering Falcon. And then I found this novel by J. McInerney, Story of My Life. I have four other novels by him in our library. I didn't have this one. Then I found this memoir, America's Boy, by Wade Rose. This is, uh, I like memoirs, and so I bought this. I Like I said, I collect... Uh, this is a uh, another one in the uh, Europia editions. This is a crime novel translated out of French called Summertime, All the Cats Are Bored by F Philippip Jornet, Jorget. I have another one. This is a, a The World Noir, The Crime. I have another one in this series. And what else? Oh, I found another volume of this Norwegian writer who wrote his memoirs. This Carl of Korsegoth. This is volume two. I have volume one. I have volume five. And I have volume four. So now I need volumes three. So I found that. What else did I find? Uh, I, something's missing here. But I can't, I don't see it, so I must not have it. I found a little biography on the, uh, the sociologist and historian Robert Nisbet. I don't have it here in my stack for some reason. But I have two books by him in my library, The Present Age, Progress, and Anarchy in the Modern America, and The History of the Idea of Progress. I found a little biography, a little study of his thought, which I don't have in my stack for some reason. I don't know where it is. Hold on. I don't know where it went. I don't have it. I, I thought I had it here, but I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this thing, Robert Nesbitt. Uh, this is Library of Modern Thinkers. So uh, he's a very interesting thinker. He, he wrote a very famous book uh, called, uh, I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called now. This is Robert Nesbitt. Communitarian traditionist, uh, yeah, but he, uh, 
I can't remember the book now. I don't have it in my library, but I do have these two books by him. So if you ever see any books by Robert Nesbitt, he's kind of interesting. Uh, I, in many, many years ago, I was very interested in the idea of progress. Is there such a thing as progress? Is man advancing? Is man becoming better and better? Is the world becoming better and better? Have we entered out of a dark age and have we come into the age of enlightenment? My view is that we are barbarians, that we are in the age of the new barbarians. We are very decadent, very, we're in declension, we are in decline, we're decadent society. We're, we're, we are a, a society that is, I think, on the, on the brink of ruin. Of, I, I believe that we're in the last days of the American empire, that we have voted a president even the very fact that we, Americans voted for such a person as Donald Trump to be president shows that our country is in a state of decline, a state of, of, of decadence, that they would elect somebody like him who's totally decadent, a whoremonger, uh, just con greedy, uh, just goes on and on. Anyway, I don't believe in the history of progress. I think that we're in a state that we are getting worse and worse, the world's getting worse and worse, and that before the world destroys itself, the Lord will come and rapture us out and bring in the new creation and the new new heavens and new earth. So yeah, so those are the books I got. This is what I'm reading. I'm really enjoying reading uh, this novel, the book. The Dream Maker. I'm really enjoying reading uh, Everybody Behaves Badly. I like reading of books about Paris in the 1920s. This afternoon I was reading about when uh, Hemingway met Gertrude Stein and Ezra Pound back there in the late, maybe it was 19, 19, 1918. So I, was, I enjoy reading that. And I enjoy, as I always say, you can't go wrong reading the Bible. So you always read the Bible, especially in these dark times. So I hope you're having a, you had a good week. I thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for those who come. And... Uh, Feel free to comment. Thank you for the comments. Uh, if you got any questions, anything you want to tell me what you're reading, tell me what you plan to do in the month of May, anything. So till next time, bye.